Have you ever been routering away when suddenly mid-project your router decides to just take a nap on you and no amount of dirty words or roughing it up wakes this son of a salad shooter up? Well boy, do I have a solution for you. All you need is a T15 star bit. You don't need one with an H like I have. The H stands for hole, the hole's in the top, and it's for those pesky security screws that the manufacturers use to keep you from tampering with their devices. Now the first step is to use that star bit to remove the top, exposing the juicy innards of this Bosch 1617 router. And with that cover off, you can remove the blue wire from its terminal and trace it back to the switch. Next, from the off side of the switch, pry that little greasy grub out of there, and once you've shown it who's boss, it'll pop right out and expose the second wire terminal on its bottom. Yank that second wire off and she'll expose her soft yellow underbelly. And now it's time to separate that sweet white meat from the dark. You can try using the screwdriver to pry it out, but I like to reach for the closest, sharpest object that I have. And in this case, it's this little chisel that I have laying right here. Once apart, you'll see this little junkie's all clogged up from the dust lines it's been doing off my bench. And you'll need to give it a few tap, tap, tap roos and a good fingering to clean it out so you can turn your attention to this little yellow ding dong with its sleazy metal lever that seems to fall out constantly. Just don't lose it. This will be important in a second. To reassemble, insert the yellow knob into the black hole and push it deep down as far as it'll go, which honestly isn't too far. Now you'll see why this metal piece is so important. Without it, the switch won't make this satisfying clicking noise, nor will it stay in the on position. And to finish assembly, backtrack your steps, reconnecting the wire to the terminal under the switch and fish the blue wire back to its terminal so you can reinstall the cover. And while you watch me do this, I'll take a second to tell you exactly why this really happens. I find that if I use this router in my router table, when it's in the upside down position, it seems to suck dust into the switch. And when that dust settles in the bottom, then you remove the router and use it in a upright position. It will dislodge that dust and it'll get in the way of that little metal clip and the switch, disrupting the electrical connection and making it so that the router will not turn on. And with that done, you can reinstall the router in its base, plug it back in, and get yourself back to work. So, what are you waiting for? Turn this video off and get yourself back to work.